welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Hamted. Um, we're going to look at how we can express a repeating rational number into a fraction form. Yeah, of course, what we just need to understand here is that um, a rational number can either terminate or it can have repeating numbers. All right, so let's. Um, um, yeah, so let's let's uh, quickly begin to solve. All right, before we solve, uh, make sure that if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, click on the subscription button. And if um, you have any questions, feel free to contact me on any of these lines on the screen. And click on the notification button if at all you want to always be up to date with every video that I post on my channel. All right, so this is the question. Alright, so um, the first thing that we are going to do to solve this question is to let the given uh, repeating rational number uh, be equal to any variable. So we say let x be equal to 0 0.7142. So as we can see here, 4, 2 is repeating okay so the next step or the f the second step that we are supposed to do is to um, is to simply is to simply move this point this decimal point uh, right close or I don't know how I can say it but it should go closer to the repeating numbers yeah, so what does that mean? means that this, this decimal point will move two times, one, two. It's going to move two times. Hence, we multiply uh, the whole equation by a number, by, by uh, what is by 100. So if we multiply uh, the whole equation by 100, we're going to have 100x here. Then this other side, we're going to have this point move two times to come there. So this would be 71.42. Uh, All right, so... From there, we're going to move this point uh, in such a way that it has to cover all the numbers that are repeating. So in this case, we have two numbers repeating, meaning we're going to move this point two steps. One, two. So the point will come this side. So it's just the same as multiplying this equation again by 100. So if we multiply this by 100, we're going to have 10,000 x is equal to, this will be 7,142. So don't leave this point 42 because it's it's repeating. So now here it's just a matter of subtracting. We subtract 10,000 minus 100. Yeah. So we subtract uh, 10,000 minus 100. Or in other ways, we are trying to we are going to subtract this equation. I mean this equation from that. So we're going to say 10,000 x minus 100 x is equal to. We subtract 7,000. Four hundred uh, seven thousand hundred and forty-two point four two bar minus seventy-one point four two bar. So this is what we're going to have. So after doing the subtraction, so we're going to subtract. So ten thousand minus um, hundred will give us nine thousand nine hundred x. This is going to be equal to. So you have also to subtract seven thousand one hundred and forty-two point. Uh, 42 then minus 71.42 and this will give us um, this will give us um, this is going to give us okay let's do it together here so that uh, you don't get stuck in the exam room subtracting decimal numbers so we have 71.42.42 but we also have 71.42 bar so subtracting this we simply say this minus that we're getting a zero here and then we say point then two minus one we're getting one four minus seven we can subtract that so we get a one from this side so 14 minus seven we're getting a one uh, rather a seven then here we we'll remain with a zero since we got this one and took it to four so we're remaining with a zero zero minus zero we're getting a zero there 7 minus 0 there, there are zeros there. 7 minus 0 there, and then 7. 
So this will give us 70, 71. So we just uh, divide that. So the value of x becomes, uh, is there a way we can simplify that? So you can see if we can simplify that. So if it's possible for us to simplify that, then we have to find a number that can go into these numbers you see okay so i think three can go into the numerator and the denominator so three into seven the answer is two remainder one three into ten the answer is three remainder one three into seventeen the answer is um, um okay three into seventeen the answer is simply the answer is 5 remainder 2 because 3 times 5 is 15 so we put 2 there 3 into 21 the answer is 7 then down there 3 into 9 we have 3 3 into 9 3 3 into 0 0 0 there. so this is the simplified fraction which they wanted us to find hence uh, this is the answer all right so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial if you have not yet subscribed to the channel make sure that you subscribe and uh, if you have any questions you want help in mathematics physics or chemistry you want tuitions feel free to contact me on any of these lines and then we'll, we'll see how we're going to help each other my name is Hamted Chanda my name is Hamted brother shalom shalom